What is up guys? I just want to show you something today, basically. This ain't really an episode where we're gonna be doing much. Cause there's an idea that I'm kind of brainstorming with and I want to kind of share it with you guys to see what you guys think. Um, and if it's something I should really get into or not. Cause yeah, I mean, we're gonna talk here in a little bit. So we'll go over everything, but the time being, um, I'm trying to get some stuff ready for my next episode, so I gotta kinda go through this stuff up here and this stuff over here, and I got some more stuff in my backyard actually that I need to get all this stuff out and find some parts um, for, for what we're doing in the next episode. So um, I'm waiting for my cousin to call me, and then we're gonna take off, and then I'll show you guys what I want to show you, and then we'll do some talking, bro. So, um, yeah, I'm going to start getting all this crap off my shelf. Yep, so there's all my junk. Now I'm going to get all that junk into the backyard with all the backyard junk. So then I have all my junk in one big junk pile. So I can actually find some stuff, man. All right, so other than, you know, the obvious stuff that we have sitting on the table here, um, this little, I, I call it a bar. My, my little bar right here, it was a project that I was working on. I'm, I'm not even gonna get into that. I don't know what I'm talking about. Yeah, you know, in behind that, that thing's hollow. So in behind that, I have everything that I couldn't fit inside of my garage. So just to save space, I kind of shoved it all back there, out of sight, out of mind, you know what I mean? So, I, I don't know what to expect when I slide this thing out. I imagine water has probably gotten back there. I imagine there's probably spiders. Fuck, dude. I don't want to even... I don't do spiders, bro. Anyhow, guys, my cousin gave me a call and he is ready to go meet with me. So we're gonna head out and I'm gonna go show you what it is that my idea and uh, talk to you a little bit about it and then we'll come back and finish getting all this stuff out. Saved by the cousin. Don't feel like fucking with spiders right now. Oh, oh, oh. 
Alright, I'm sure you guys are wondering what the fuck right now, right? Let me give you a warning. First of all, let me give you a warning. For those guys that are always in the comment section like, this dude talks way too much. I'm warning you, right? Fucking now, I'm fixing to be talking for a minute. You know what I'm saying? So, this, uh, if you're not into hearing me talk, then this obviously isn't the video for you. Alright, this is my cousin's old coupe, okay? Uh, when he first bought this car back in 2010, it had a stock GSR in it. He swapped that out. Long story short, dude, B-Series, he ran a best. It was like mid-13s. Uh, he finally did a K-Swap in it, and his last engine setup was a K24, uh, K20 head, running E85. Um, there's, I'm sparing the details with you guys just to kind of get through this, but um, that car won IFO here in Tucson three different years, man. It has a really cool history. It was it was really well known in, you know, the local Mexico spots. Uh, and speaking of, you know, towards the end of the car's life, he was out at a spot and him and a buddy of ours parked next to one another and a young kid in a completely stock EF lost control of his car, smashed into both cars completely putting 2k cars out of commission. It's a tragic night, bro. Tragic. So, from there the coupe ended up in my grandma's backyard and got parted out and turned into that pile of rubble that you guys just seen. And, I mean, it's been destined for the junkyard to be scrapped multiple times, and which is just another element that I think is cool. It's like we'd be saving the thing and bringing it back to life, uh, if you will. Um, Okay, now as far as the build, dude, here's my idea. I'm sure you guys seen the front end's kind of smashed, but I mean, you could simply just chop it at the, the shock towers and do a tube front end. You know, that's no big deal. Um, but my idea here is, is to do a rear wheel drive conversion, dude. I mean, what can I say? Shiloh has me inspired and I've already talked about it with him and he's kind of excited about it too, you know? Um, I, I think it would be a really cool thing, a really cool adventure for us to travel down. Um, now this would be this would be future plans, you know what I'm saying? Obviously the EF comes first, it's got to be finished, and I would most certainly like to help Shiloh get his car finished uh, before we were to start on that. Um, but I'm coming to you guys because I want to see what kind of interest you guys have in seeing something like that. As far as the engine swap, I would be basically leaving it up to you. And with this build, my idea for it would be to to involve you guys as much as I possibly can, like when making decisions on it, like what engine should we put in it? Are we gonna do 1J, 2J, LS, you know what I'm saying? Um, what color to paint it. Like we would come up with, you know, a basic, you know, three or four colors and then you guys would vote on it and whatever wins, wins. And that's what we're spraying it type of thing. Um, like what seats. We want to do Sparkos or S2Ks or, you know, whatever. Um, and I, I, it's another concept that I just think would be really freaking awesome and a way to just kind of involve you guys more with the build rather than just watching somebody build their car. It'd be kind of like you guys are, are you know, involved in it. Like you guys are helping build it. And I, I don't know, dude, it, it just seems like a really cool concept to me. And uh, uh, feel free, dude, with this whole, with this entire topic, dude, I want to hear from you guys. Uh, your interest, your ideas, um, just throw them in the comment section down below or the best way to really have a conversation with me would be like through Messenger on Facebook. Uh, if you're not already following me, make sure to do that or I might even put a, make a post on this topic on Built Not Bot so we can get in there and kind of conversate about it. But yeah, dude, I mean, that that's kind of my idea and another reason why I'm bringing this to you guys, like honestly for your approval is because this this would be the kind of build that would mostly be funded off of the the profit that I bring in from merchandise which uh, I've mentioned to you guys before merchandise is coming soon and it most certainly is coming soon I'm in the works of getting stickers made I know a lot of you guys have been asking for stickers like screaming at me like dude where the fuck's the stickers well I have stickers coming soon dude really freaking soon just hang in there with me like I, I want to do this stuff correctly like I'm trying to get a website going um, I, I kind of have like the template of it 
built. Um, as far as payment options and stuff, I'm still figuring that out. Like, I, I wanna do this right, you know what I mean? Like, I, I don't want it to be like, hey, message me your address and I'm a PayPal me the money and I'm a, you know, mail it out or whatever. Like, I, I wanna do this right. I want it to be legit so you guys can just click, you know, click and then send, you know? Like, it's easy process, you know? I'm saying you know way too much. Not damn. Most likely I'm gonna be picking the car up here pretty soon. I wanna get it to the house and get it out back at least. Um, so we can just kind of tear it down, pressure wash it, get it cleaned up, you know, and just kind of sitting there ready for us to get at it, you know what I mean? Um, but yeah, dude, I'm, I'm depending on you guys here. I, I really wanna hear how you guys feel about it. Uh, what your ideas are if you have any recommendations for me as far as my idea about this build um, I just I, I really want to feel the interest before I really I really commit myself to this You know what I'm saying because the car does need a lot. I'm not gonna lie the car needs a lot um, But I I feel like we can handle it dude I really do and with the history of the car and the fact that it's destined for the junkyard would be kind of saving it and it's my cousin's car, you know? It's it's a family member's. Um, you know, it's got some sentimental value there. Kinda, right? I mean, my cousin don't give a shit about it, straight up with you. I mean, he's not even living in Arizona anymore. He's out in California driving a Corvette around, you know what I'm saying? Fucking traitor. Ha! <laughs> I'm just playing, dude. What the fuck? I'm... I don't think I've had enough caffeine today, just to be straight up with you. But all right guys, anyway, I'm gonna get out back and get the rest of this stuff all out and uh, continue on with this day. Brother, don't forget, let me know what you think. I mean, I'm not gonna lie, I thought that there's a lot more stuff than this to put on top. But, um, that is a lot of dust. To be honest with you, I don't remember what's all back here. I mean, clearly the back seat in which I left everything to be able to put the back seat in. Um, but it's gonna be one of those things like if I'm going to a show or something and I'm driving the hatch. I'll put the back seat in, you know, for the kids or whatever, or my girlfriend, so we all fit in there. But for the most part, the back seat's never gonna be in the car. Um, here's my carpet, which looks really freaking dirty, but I don't know if you could tell from that little spot, my carpet is like brand spanking new. Like it still had the little shiny fibers and stuff. And when I say new, I mean literally, it's new. Cause when I first bought, like I didn't, I didn't buy it for the car, but when I got the car, it already had brand new carpet in it. The guy actually bought brand new carpet. I have no idea where from, but he bought brand new carpet and put it in there. Um, and it's an, it's actual o, like OEM, like it has the shape and everything. It's not like those rolls that you buy and just piece it together. But um, yeah, and I hardly ever used it cause I kind of took it out. Cause honestly, I didn't want it to get dirty. Look at it now. There's my center console. I had a little, little cup holder. What's up, dude? And then, uh, where'd the other piece go? Oh, right here. Center console. Still has all my receipts. <laughs> Glove box. Gauge cluster with the bezel, I believe that's called. Fucking Jesus, man. This shit is filthy. Here's my mirrors, and believe it or not, I already painted these. They're, I already put a fresh coat of black on these, but um, yeah, they're, I mean, they just need to be cleaned. But we're not using them now anyway, cause I got carbon fiber EG mirrors, yo. My Broadway mirror, what's up? That's funny, it's all still on the mirror. <laughs> Ooh. My freaking chest is hurting from all this dust, dude. I have not found the parts that I'm looking for yet. I'm gonna continue digging through all this shit so I can get started on recording the next episode. 
Yeah, let me know what you guys think about the coop, man. Uh, you know, it... I mean, it clearly needs a lot of work. It really does. Uh, make sure to leave your comments below. Let me know what you guys think of the idea. Um, yeah, I'm going to close this out and get started on the episode, guys. So peace out, and I'll see you on the next one. West side.